Hi, I'm criminal defense attorney John Teekel, and I want to talk about tax cases in federal court, that is criminal tax charges, tax evasion, things like that. Some of the more common crimes for tax violations in federal court charged by the U.S. Attorney's offices or the Department of Justice are tax evasion, filing false tax returns, conspiracy to file false returns, and failure to file a tax return. Now, there is a difference, of course, between tax evasion and just owing money on your taxes that are due. If you owe money, that's at most an administrative or a civil matter and dealt with by revenue agents within the IRS. If you are being looked at by the IRS's Criminal Investigation Division and they get with the Department of Justice or the U.S. Attorney's Office, the Federal Prosecutor's Office, then you have more concern because they're looking at a potential criminal charge and that would be for more than just owing money to the IRS. That's where the tax evasion comes into play or did you file a false tax return. Also, when you see a conspiracy to file tax returns, often that's done because you have people who are tax preparation services who do multi-tax returns and then they see a pattern of uh, illegal or unauthorized or wrongfully taken deductions and creating false companies to lower taxes, taxable income. And just simply failure to file a tax return can result in a federal charge, although tax evasion and filing false tax returns are very common as far as criminal charges related to taxes. Evasion is a charge where you are charged with essentially just not reporting your income or hiding your income, not reporting it. It can be also a combination of not reporting your income and taking false deductions on a mass scale to lower your taxable income. An example might be if you have a businessman who runs a lot of money through his business every year who would write checks to someone for, a, for what appears to be a legitimate business expense, then he has that person go cash those checks and then split the money with him, then the money's coming back, or a good portion of it's coming back to the businessman. He gets a double benefit without increasing his taxable income. He's showing a what appears to be a number of legitimate expenses for his business to increase the uh, deductions and or rather the, the lowering the taxable income, and then he gets cash in hand back that was his to begin with that he's really not reporting. So that's a, a good example of what a person who does something like that could be charged with in federal court for tax evasion. If you know somebody who's under investigation for tax evasion or who's been charged, have them call me, John Teekle. I'll be glad to help them with it. Thank you.